Denise Chekoufé. This is another session of your physics lesson. At this session, I want to talk about density. What does density mean? Density is a property of matters that shows how compact its particles is. I mean, how compact are the particles inside the matters? We can make a comparison between two different objects with a different, uh, different, two different materials and that they have the same volume. We want to know at the same volume which one is more com compact or which one is heavier and which one is lighter somehow. So if you want to know that, what you have to do? You have to calculate their densities. How we can calculate density? This is the formula they can use. We already have learned how to measure mass of the different objects. We already, in the previous sessions, learned how to measure and how to find or which instruments to use to find mass and volume of the different objects. The objects in different states like gas, liquid or solid. If the solid is regular shape, oh it is irregular. So we know how to measure them, now we need to just Find them, measure each of these properties, each of these quantities separately by using those proper instruments that I have taught you, then substitute in the formula the mass of the object over volume. What is the unit of the density then? The unit of the density can be kilograms per meter cube or it can be mentioned as gram per centimeter cube. So, now, I have an example here for you. For example, it is asked from you to calculate the density of a matter that has a mass of 4 kg and the volume of 2 meter cube. How do you find the density? You just place uh, these data which is given to you in the right formula. So we know that density is equal to mass over volume. What is the mass here? Mass is 4 kg. So I place 4 here. And for the volume, I know that it is 2. So I place 2 here and a set of volume. 4 divided by 2. The answer is 2. So what is the unit? We have to look at the units which is given and written right after each number. Kilograms is mentioned here as a unit of the mass. So I write here kilograms. The unit of the volume here is written next to the well, which, what, what is it? It is meter cube, so and power 3. So the unit here is kilogram per meter cube, or you can write it like this. But you have to be careful, it means that the units, the big unit always comes with the big one. So it is kilogram always with the meter cube, that's the standard unit for the density and if one unit is in small, the other one should be also in the small, a gram per centimeter cube. So these are standard units, the big one with the big one and the small with the small. So if kilogram is given for the mass and the unit of the volume is given a centimeter cube, then you have to convert one of the units. For example, you can convert centimeter cube into meter cube or you can convert kilograms into grams, then that would be okay. Now let's see what all the relationships between density, mass and volume of the matters. The 
This is the formula of a density, as I told you before. So density is directly related to mass of the object. It means that if you increase density, the mass will increase, or if the, you decrease the mass of the object, the density will increase. Density and volume of the object are indirectly related. It means that if the volume of the object decreases, the density increases. Now, let me give one example. This example is asking you to find the object among these three shapes here, A, B, and C, that has the highest density. How can we find? The first thing is that it is told in this question that the mass for all these objects is the same. So all of them, they have the same masses. So mass for this object A, B, and C, all of them are same, similar. So what you have to find is the volume. Based on these, uh, we understand that the object that has the lowest the lowest volume should have the highest density. So the highest density should belong to that object that has smaller, the smallest volume compared to the other shapes. Let's see the volume of which of these objects is the least. Um, so the shape one, uh, in order to find the volume, this each side actually is measured and written here. So it's in centimeter, it's two centimeter, three centimeters, and two. So in order to find the volume of this shape, we multiply two by three and two. So it becomes two times three and times two. So it becomes 12 centimeter cube. The volume of the first shape would be 12 centimeter cube. Now let's go for the next one. 1, 1, and 1 centimeter for each side. So 1 times 1 times 1 becomes 1 centimeter cube. That would be the volume of the second object or B. Then object C has the volume of 2 times 1 times 4, which means 8 centimeter cube. Now let's make a comparison and see which of these shape has the smallest volume. The smallest volume belongs to the shape B. So it means that B has the highest density among all these shapes. Highest density is for this one, and the lowest density belongs to the shape that has the highest volume. Which one? So it means that shape A, A has the lowest density. A has the lowest density. Okay, um, after knowing about how to calculate the density of the objects and what it is, um, there is one another topic I want to uh, explain this and it's about how to know if I place an object into water it will sink or it will flow into the water. So in order to know that, uh, first we have to know that Water has a density, and that density uh, is equal to one gram um, per centimeter cube, or in another word, one thousand kilograms of each meter cube. Whatever object you have, you ha if its density is more than the density of the water, which is one gram per centimeter cube, it means that this object is heavier somehow or denser than water. So if you place it on in the water, it will sink and go down into the water column. And if the density of that object is less than the density of water, what will happen? The object will float on the water. The next thing that I want to tell you is about the relationship between the temperature, pressure, and density of the water. Actually, 
temperature pressure and uh, these two factors have a slightly varied change uh, can change the uh, value of the density of this water. Um, so the value of the density for the water will change slightly, not that much, with the change in the temperature and the pressure. Uh, it means that if the temperature of the surrounding environment changes, um, for example, increases, so the density of the water will decrease a little. It means that the hot water is less dense than the cold water. So it means that if I put the hot water and uh, mix with the cold water, then you see that the cold water will sink and stay lower than the cold, the hot water because hot water is slightly lighter than the cold water. Pressure also can slightly change the value of the density. So it means that if you increase the pressure on the object like water, a little bit density value will increase. So, if the temperature increases, the density of the water decreases a little, not that much. And if the pressure in the environment uh, increases, the density also increases. Because the volume of the, it has, when the pressure increases, the volume of the object slightly will be a decrease. So, we said that what is the relationship between the density, mass, and volume? Density and the volume you are indirectly related. When the volume decreases, the density increases. That's why when there is an increase in the pressure, there would be an increase in the density of the 